This morning I encountered something I never thought I'd encounter. I was at the grocery store and as I'm checking out, the cashier comes up to me and says, I'm sorry sir, but I can't let you take all of these items. I was a little taken back. In my possession, the ones that she was referring to were these dishwasher tabs, you know, the ones that you put into the dishwasher. And I had four packages of them because that's typically what we buy for a month. And she sat there and said, I'm sorry, our store policy is you can only have one per customer. Now keep in mind, this is what we normally use. This was essential for our family for an entire month. And my immediate thought was, well, I'm not trying to hoard these. I'm not gonna sell them on the black market at some uh, elevated amount. I'm not trying to steal these from some old lady. I just need these. And my first instinct was, you know what? I wanna to talk to the manager. I demand to be heard because this is not fair. And in my head, I had this conversation. How dare you? Who do you think you are? There's no reason to have a ration on dish detergent or dishwashing tabs. This isn't fair. But instead, I held my tongue. I turned to her and said, you know what, I understand. This is a time of uncertainty for all of us. We're all learning to do this together. New ways of shopping, new ways of communicating, new ways of living. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. When I got back to the car with my one package of dishwasher tabs, I started thinking about what had just gone on. You know, there was a part of me that really wanted to call the manager aside and say, you know, it's not fair. And I wanted to complain. But then I started thinking about, was that the kind of Christian example I wanted to leave with the manager and with the cashier? Would this have been the example that Jesus would have set for us? Would he have gone into the store and say, I have my rights? Or would he have stopped, held his tongue, and considered the person that he was talking to? Sometimes when we deal with people, we forget that we have a right. We have a right to hold our tongue. We have a right to stay quiet and live at peace with each other. The Bible talks a lot about holding our tongue and living in peace with one another. Maybe in this time of uncertainty, Rather than focusing on the negative things that happen, we should focus on the positive things. Rather than focusing on our rights, maybe we need to focus on putting others first. Maybe rather than saying, how dare you, we learn to live in harmony with one another. Now, I'm not saying we go all guru and peace-loving, hippie-style kind of love, but what I'm saying is maybe we start loving people the way Jesus loves us. What would the world look like if we took every effort to live at peace with one another? Hebrews 12, 14 says this, make every effort to live at peace with everyone and be holy. For without holiness, no one can see the Lord. So my challenge for you is this, as you go about this week, live at peace with those that are around you. Until next time, 